purple lights welcome to your reading this is your favorite topic what the universe wants to tell you and we have three piles um, that I pre-shuffled and I want to choose the dice now because I really love the dice so this is for pair one um, I just randomly grabbed the dice this is the zodiac signs so we're gonna see what comes out for pair one um, that's Aries okay so you could be an Aries your person could be that strong fire energy strong leadership energy emperor energy because that's the Aries you know the emperor energy so I don't know what that means to you, but that's pile areas. The next one is this dice. That's the planet dice for the middle one this time. We get the sun. Wow, that's Leo energy or the sun. So meaning happiness, you know. So this is our pile two for today. And our pile three is the numbers. So let's see what comes out. Number eight. So number, you could see a lot of 888. Come on, focus, universe. So you could see a lot of 888, you know, or eight is your um, life path number. You know, you could also watch all three piles because areas, emperor energy, the happiness energy, the sun or your sun sign means the second pile means something to you and the eight. You know, you can watch as many piles as you want. There are messages under there. Please sign up for my channel if you're here for the first time. My name is Purple. I call my followers Purple Lights and we're here to spread love <laughs> and grow and heal together. So that's it. I see you at the piles. Timestamps are as always in the description box. See you Purple Lights. Hello, pile Aries. So let's see why this Aries card came out for you. So Aries is always in the season from, what is it? Middle of March till middle of April, okay? So I wanna put it like this so you can see the Aries. You know, you can see it very good right now. That's the Aries pile. So maybe you're born in the season, your person is born in the season. Something happened, maybe you were awakened in this season. Let's see what the universe wants to tell you. First, we're going to see the cards and then I'm going to explain. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have dreams. What a beautiful start. <laughs> oh, I love those cards. What a beautiful. Wow. And we have number eight here. So maybe you should watch part three too, guys. Yeah, we have pile eight here or um, life path number eight or eight. So we have dreams right there. So what else? <clears throat> okay, we have sadness. Number five, you long for change, guys. You long for change. I see this here. Very obvious. Maybe because you can only meet your dream, your person in dreams. Let's look at the oracle cards first because we look at before we look at tarot cards. Wow, we have Star Keeper. Cosmic ancestor seed delight by staying grounded. Yeah. That looks like a portal, doesn't it? Yeah, looks like a portal, star keeper. So you could be a star seed, you know, if you know. That's my star seed deck. Accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. That's absolutely gorgeous because that's, that's what it is. Yes, I think you're not accepting, you're longing for change, that's what I'm saying. Because you can only dream of your person. I really feel that, guys. I feel this is about a person and I know you all are on my channel because of that. <laughs> and yeah, yes, I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God. Oh, it's another eight. You should really watch pile eight, guys. Also, wow. Loyal heart, twin flame. Um, this is about love situation. Yes. Oh my gosh. We have the army card. The three of cups could be um, third party. Yeah third party but this is reunion so you're you're wanting to celebrate you want to reunite this almost looks like a wedding i always see this card as a wedding like having a wedding and being happy you know where can i put this and 
Oh yeah, the Four of Swords, you know, it's not happening. The Four of Swords is also dreaming, daydreaming about your person. It's the same as this one. <clears throat> yeah, daydreaming, just dreaming of your person, not being able to be together. Exactly. Look at this. It's the same posture. Isn't it crazy? Like, how's that the same posture? That's the same, guys. Look at her. That's like you're really sad because all what you can do is you can dream of your person. And that's why we have the Aries energy. You know, that's the ram energy. You want to ram through the wall. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> My fan. My fan. I really like it when it's open, so... I just plug it here so it holds the whole thing. <laughs> it holds my decoration. You know? Hum, hum, hum. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm getting something to stand up here for my two cards. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> don't burn it universe yeah you want this see you want this because you're a loyal heart you're a loyal heart so we have a spiritual connection here yeah really really strong spiritual connection I mean we can see it here the loyal heart so if you don't know if your person is loyal, yes, they are, you know, because I always get asked, well, is it third party? Yes, there is a third party, but it could be their surroundings, their friends, their um, social cycle, social circle, so, sorry, not social cycle, social circle. <laughs> That's hard to pronounce for purple. It could be their social circle because of that. It's not right now, not your guys are not being able to be together, okay? Um, yeah, and with that Aries energy, I really think that you want to ram through the whole thing, you know? You want to make it happen because that's what Emperor energy is like, very masculine energy. So I feel you are a doer. You are in masculine energy. You want to make it happen. You're not someone that is um, accepting everything you know, you are someone that says, well, if I don't do it, then nothing will happen. But the thing is, what you need to learn, what the universe is saying is, I accept and embrace my inner majesty. You need to stay away. You need to stay back. Yeah, you need to sit on your throne. Even if this, there is nothing else you can do. Because if you look at this, there is, there is, you know, it could even mean your pe person is having fun with a lot of girls, you know, and you're the one who's sitting there and saying, well, my life is shit, you know? <laughs> Why can I only dream? I want my person to come back if this is an ex, because you're the loyal heart. Maybe you are the loyal heart. I mean, both of you are loyal, yeah? That's what you see here. But maybe it's saying you are the loyal heart and this is also what you imagine. Maybe that's what you're dreaming of or, well, not what you're dreaming of, but that's what your fear is, yeah? Maybe that's just an illusion that your person is having fun with everyone else but you and you're sitting there and you're saying, man, I wish I could change that. I wish I could be the areas to ram the whole thing, thing, thing down because I long for this change because I want to make my dream come true with that person, you know, but it's as keeper. A keeper is not someone that is going. Yeah, a keeper is keeping themselves away basically you know um what i also see here is there is protection yeah there is protection seat the light by staying grounded cosmic ancestor yeah that's a that's that tells me that this is um a spiritual love um some kind of mission that you came here to this planet to fulfill with your person and i seeing a non-balance here yeah, I'm seeing a non-balance. The five is always this card of missing out. So you feel like you're missing out on this connection. You're the one that is very sad. And it doesn't matter what is with your person. It could be third party involved that, you know, they're just not caring and having fun with everyone else and not caring about you. 
um, then you should also accept what is. Yeah. Or on the other hand, this is your fear, but you can be assured that they are loyal. So please take it as it resonates, you know, please take it as it resonates. Um, if you have never met this person, then you can be sure it's a loyal heart. Yeah, that this is a spiritual bond. You came here to do a mission. You have to accept what is now. You cannot ram through the wall. You cannot make anything happen. You have to stay grounded. You have to ground yourself. Even if you have all these crazy dreams with your person, even if their higher self is visiting you in dreams, despite all of that, there is no change right now. You know, you have to, or the change is coming when you accept what is, but that's what you're not doing right now. So this is your affirmation. I accept what is. If this is an X, then you are the loyal heart and they're having fun, you know, then this is a totally different picture. Yeah, this could be or you're watching them having fun with other people. Um, so maybe you watch them having fun. Maybe they posted those pictures on social media and you're the loyal heart and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, this X, maybe this X is an Aries, you know, and you had all these dreams with them and now they're, they are with other people and you're the one that left out in the cold. This could also be, yeah? So the universe in that case would say, leave them be, leave them be happy, you know? Every person deserves happiness. If they're happy with celebrating with their friends or whatever, let them be, you know? If they don't want to be with you, if they don't want to come back, if they don't want to make out, if they don't want to be in a relationship with you, why bother? It's not your person in the first place. Yeah. And then the universe is saying, we got someone else that's coming through the portal for you, someone much better. And please wait on that. Stay grounded until we bring you this person. And don't be sad because your dreams are different than what this person could have ever given you. Your dreams are so much different and you're still this loyal heart. Yeah. But it's time to accept what is. It's time to accept what is because there is someone else they want to bring in. Yeah. I see here that someone else, there is a soul bond that it's coming in, that you guys stay together for eternity. You know, it looks like as if you're incarnating every time together. Um, you're the two owls. You have to learn a lot. So this person was part of your life lesson then. Yeah. If this is an ex and you have seen them celebrating with other people and you're like, man, you know, why did they leave me in the cold? Because this person is not supposed to be with you. They're wanting to bring in for you this loyal heart. So please, um, whatever resonates, I have to say the different scenarios the universe is telling me. Okay? So this is all what I'm having. I hope I could help you guys. I hope I could um, enlighten you a little bit on your journey. And I'm saying goodbye. I love you. Take care. So guys, you choose the sun. You choose the sun card. Well, why is the sun card here? Well, it could be that your sun sign right now, you know, the sun sign right now ruling is Taurus. So maybe you could be a Taurus and that's why you chose that. Or you could be striving for happiness or you could be very happy or, you know, whatever. Why you chose the sun, we will see what the universe wants to tell you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Number five, the family. <laughs> That's beautiful. I feel like here that um, there is some kind of people around you that you feel very close with, you know, right now, as of right now. Maybe that's why you're happy. Maybe it's my channel. And the universe is saying, look at this. This is your family. This is your nest. This is where you feel happy <laughs> on our channel. <laughs> or there are people right now that you feel very happy with. They are your son. Your family enlightens you. Wow. Why is there like two cards like in the first deck the dream card come out and in this deck we have the tiger fairy <laughs> look at this that's a strength card for me that's absolutely gorgeous i feel that um yeah look at this it's like a family you can rest your shoulders with this is also your person i feel that you can share the love to to your person inside of this family it's like you feel very nurtured sorry that was artus Artus baby, what are you doing? Don't destroy my reading. He crashed my reading. <laughs> that's like, yeah, maybe that's a dog, guys. Maybe that's a dog you're having because Artus just crashed. 
So yeah, I feel you can share the love inside this community, whoever this is, your friends, your family, um, maybe this is your best friend, the tiger. You, you have here a family where you feel very happy, bonded with. That's why the sun card, maybe the happiness card, you know? Let's look at tarot first, uh, uh, oracle cards. <clears throat> boundaries, okay, where do you need to establish better boundaries? That's interesting. Maybe also everyone is reaching out for you inside your family or your friends. Or other people want to grab you, you know, and you're saying, nope, I already have my family. I already have the people. Maybe also this family um, helps you to create those boundaries, you know, because of this is your, this is your haven where you can um, retreat. Yeah, this is why you can establish boundaries. That's why you have boundaries because you're already part of this beautiful community and you're saying, well, I'm fine. I'm happy. You know, I'm not having this desert anymore. That's what I see. Also, um, I see here that, you know, you are protected inside of this womb basically. And no matter how many people want to take your happiness away, they can't because this is very stable for you. Making a difference. I love this. My inner light shines far and wide. Look at this. You reach for the sea stars. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Look at this. I love this. Yeah, I feel your family and your person. This could be your person, your twin flame, you know, because this is always for me the soul bond that you're having the dream to be together with your person. This is the community, you know, that... Um, helps you to also face challenges because the number five is the card of challenges, disturbance, you know, and I feel the community is helping you to establish these boundaries and because you're making a difference. You are also a healer like me, you know, and you're finding happiness in making a difference. I really love this. That's beautiful. We have exchanging gifts. Yeah, I really feel you're very happy right now. Maybe um, maybe you are Taurus and you had birthday because I see the sun here and right now is the ruling sign Taurus and maybe you had birthday and you're exchanging gifts with it within your family and this makes a lot of difference and um, you're also very happy and glad that you're with the people and the universe is saying you can always trust these people because they make a difference in your life they give you they give you your inner light you know you can always trust them and you don't need to worry if people come at you because you can within this community, within your friend circle or with this person here, you can always establish your boundaries. We have the chariot. <laughs> I really love these, these cards. That's my new favorite, favorite deck. The Tarot Teka deck. It's from, from a studio called Tarot Teka Studio. Really love it. So gorgeous. Yeah, it's like move, movement forward. You know, movement forward, being happy on your path. And then we have the devil. Yeah, very interesting. Look at this. Very interesting. I feel with this devil energy here, That's like, you know, the devil are bad influences, I feel here. The ones that um, you have to establish boundaries, you know. And I feel here with this chariot that you want to, you, you're moving. Um, I want to see it like this, that you're moving away from those influences. Yeah, within this community and with this 
um, family in mind, with them on your heart, you're moving away from this. You're moving away from the devil. You know, the devil is always this not so nice card. Um, sometimes I see the devil card as different. But in this case, I would see it the same. You know, those people who are very jealous of you or who, I don't know, have something bad in mind for you, you're moving away from this. You're moving away from this. Yeah, very interesting. That's very interesting. So, what is the message from the universe for this pile? Well, you can always rely on this community. You know, you can always rely on your person. Um, those are the people that help you to make your dreams come true, to move forward, yeah, to move away from those people that um, are not so good, you know, who, um, that's like this energy, you know. And I feel um, maybe if you have people like this in your surrounding, don't worry, you know, it's like the universe is saying there will come in a new community, new friends, new family that you can really rely on. Yeah, that you can get your strength from. So right now, in if you're feeling low on energy, and I see this as also energy vampires, you know, and energy vampires that drain your energy because there are those people that drain your energy, you know, that are in your surroundings, and it's better to establish these boundaries. And the universe will tells you, well, there are people coming in as gifts, you know, they are the gifts from the universe in order for you to ensure that you are cared for and that you can shine your light because the sun is also the radiating of the light. So you are protected, you are fine. If you are in this energy right now that there are a lot of vampires, energy vampires around you, move away, Yeah, move away. There will be new people coming in that help you and you can always rely on those people to shine your light, to radiate. Yeah. And to make a difference in this world. How beautiful is that? Such a beautiful pile. Okay, that's it, guys. Bye. Hi, Army. Hi, Purple Lights. So, let's see. You chose number eight. So, you could have life path number eight or you could come from pile one. If you're um, here and you haven't watched pile one, please go back to watch pile one. There were a lot of eights in there. So maybe there's another message for you. So let's see what the universe has to tell you. We have, wow, I am present or no, I am present, presence. Wow. Number 30. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Very interesting. Let's see the other cards so we can see what the universe wants to tell you. How teachable are you? <clears throat> then we have next one, number nine. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Wow. This tells me that um, there's something you're not seeing with this how teachable are you. There's something you're not seeing in your situation right now. Also with this I am presence, I feel here, look at this. There's something I see here burning, something um, that's really hard for you right now. And look at this again, the faces are really the same. Do you see this? So I feel you're going through a hard situation right now and you're very much contemplating. Is this the right thing for me? Okay. Whatever you're doing, you're contemplating hard and you're thinking, well, should I do that? What I do in the present moment? Because it's not giving you fun right now. It's not giving you fun or there are a lot of challenges right now. Yeah. That, that's what I'm seeing in the present right now in the present. Um, there are a lot of challenges in whatever you're doing, but the universe wants to tell you they are there, you know, they, they want to teach you a lesson. They want to teach you also something. How teachable are you and perspective? It means that you're not seeing why you're going through right now. You know, why this is in your life right now. You're not understanding 
the whole thing. And the universe wants to tell you, well, they are there, you know, they are there, they protect you, nothing to worry. But there's something that you need to see. And it's about your abundance, your dreams. It says, my dreams are coming true. Yeah, maybe you're not seeing that your dreams coming true. Maybe you're doubting this whole thing. Yeah, because look at this. It, it could also be that you're doubting the whole thing, you know, because you, you this is all tangled here. It looks um, like nothing is real, like an illusion. This looks like an illusion. So it says, I am presence. I am there. I am possible. Yeah, I am possible. But you're not zooming out. You see yourself in this present situation and you're looking maybe at, your, at a gift you're having and maybe you're saying, well, this dream I have, will not come true anyway so why should i start learning the violin for example or the stream that i have is not coming true anyway it's just an illusion so why should i do anything forward into this matter you know but you're not you have to change your perspective on that you're not seeing the whole thing it is possible my dreams are coming true i mean it's it's saying it right there i feel you're doubting your path you're doubting that um, also with this card, there's a difference. This is what your life is right now. Nothing going on. You're stuck. You're having not a passion. You look at the gift you're having. You're saying, nah, don't want this. My dream is not coming true anyway. And look at this. This is the belief in this. This is making the dream come true, manifesting it into reality. And you can only manifest what is truly meant for you. Yeah, look at this, happy, happy. You have to change into this happy mode. You're not happy, happy. And look at this, we have again number 26, number 8. That's exactly this pile, number 8. That's how you have to change into this mode. You're not there yet, you're here. You're here. But you have to come into this mode. Look at the colors. <laughs> the same colors again, guys. Yeah, you are presence. You are manifesting when you come into this joy mode. But you're more into the sad mode, like, mm, you know, why should I be happy? Why should I use my gift? Why should I keep moving into this direction? It's not working out anyway. And the universe is saying, well, your perspective is wrong. Zoom out. Zoom out. You know, you're, you're not looking at it. Yeah, the hermit. You're really looking for answers. And the universe is saying, well, you know, you should shine your light, you know. <laughs> I always have to laugh about this hermit. That hermit is so funny. Yeah, maybe you're in hermit mode, trying to find out what you should do with your life. And you're like, nah, I don't want to do, learn the violin. I don't know. My life is shit. I'm just sitting here. I'm growing old and I will die alone. <laughs> That's what I see with this grandpa. You're like sitting at home saying, well, I'm not going to meet my person. I'm becoming this old grandpa. No one wants me. Man, yeah, look at this. You're like, this is an illusion anyway. You're like, mm, you know. But it's about zooming out. What I see here is maybe also a thing that you tried didn't work out. Yeah, maybe also a, tr a thing that you tried and you really worked hard on this and it did not work out. Yeah. And maybe you were asking yourself, well, I really wanted to become a violinist, violin player, and it didn't work out. I'm, I'm not having fun doing this. So why is this? I thought this was my gift. And then the universe is saying, well, look at this. It's just one of many, but you're not seeing this. Like if you zoom out, you see this earth is a little small. It's just one of the many things that you can be doing. So why do you see it as all? Why do you see it as everything? Yeah? Maybe it was just one small thing that didn't work out, but you right now, you see it as everything. You see it as, oh my gosh, that thing didn't work out, but it was everything. Without that, I'm not gonna get to my dreams. No, this is what you're not really seeing. And this is becoming wise. You know, this is becoming wise. You should really become this old hermit that knows better because grandpas usually have a lot of experience and they can tell you this also you know maybe i should get advice from your grandfather you know i don't know maybe this could mean something to you but it tells me that um the thing 
that didn't work out was just one small drop, just one small drop on your path. It's not lost, yeah? But I, th I think you that something happened here and um, you're now giving up. You're on the verge of giving up following the stream because it didn't work out. And the universe is saying it was just one drop. There are so many different paths that you can go towards your dream. You just have to stay into this energy because that's number eight. You have to come into this happy energy and this is the key. This is the key of you getting there where you want to be. So don't give up. Yeah, this is a motivational period. So maybe you should look path one. Maybe because it's related to love. Because path one was the love card. And maybe this is don't give up. Move on. Yeah, move on. Just because one path didn't work out doesn't mean the other one isn't either. Okay? So that's all what I'm having, my purple lights. I hope you like it. And I'm saying goodbye.